and so today's Give It 10 is a great one if you're getting ready to go skiing but also a great one for just keeping the legs strong something you can do while you're out walking the dog or just out for a walk something you can do at home in the kitchen around the house but basically all we're going to do is some walking lunges so you're going to stand nice and tall you're going to kind of slightly tuck the um tuck the pelvis under engage the core but not like uh, just kind of engage it a little bit just standing nice and tall and as you walk all we're going to do is take a step forwards come down try and keep that knee in line with the toe there's a tendency sometimes for the knees to collapse inwards so we're going to try and keep it in line with the in line with the toe and we're going to oh <laughs> i know i should have brought my tripod out i keep forgetting every time i come outside to, uh, to bring a tripod with me and we are going to just basically as we're walking along we're just going to take 10 lunges two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then stand up nice and tall and you can walk for a few minutes and then do another ten and then walk for a few minutes more and then do another ten and I promise you you do that three times in a walk you will really feel it in your quads um, these big muscles up here in your glutes your backside and as we said it's really important to keep the backside strong um especially if you've got lower back problems and yeah it's just a really good exercise to do and you can do it anywhere so with the lunges there are dozens of different variations on lunges and over the year i'm sure we will go through all of them but you don't have to be sort of this is what's called a dynamic lunge when you're kind of doing the lunges as you're walking along so you're kind of dynamically moving forwards, but of course you can just stay stationary and just do one at a time there. But really think about your posture when you're doing this, standing nice and tall, as I said, engage the core slightly, tuck the hips under slightly, but not like massively. And, um, well, the dog's, the dog's about to attack the, 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 the ducks. Um, and think about what that knee's doing. So try and keep that knee tracking in line with the toes it doesn't matter if it goes beyond the toes but just try and keep the knee in line with the toes uh, and I think that's it for, him, for me for today I would love to hear from you if you've been doing any of these give it tens I'd love to hear from you if you've been inspired to get some give it tens into your day whether you're doing a give it one or a give it ten um, but don't forget these are designed give it tens my whole idea behind give it tens is just building movement into what you're already doing in the day so for busy people who don't have time to go to the gym don't have time to exercise necessarily what can you build into your day into stuff that you're already doing right that's it for me for today i will see you again tomorrow for another give it 10 take care cheers